Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create some wings like these uh, that follow you around. Um, they look very nice. So uh, let's just get started right away. Uh, what you do is you create a new project and you select the template called neck decoration. If you don't have that, you should really make sure that you got the latest version of Spark um, because it should be a built-in template. And yeah, let me see if I can start it. Okay, we'll just start from scratch like this. Um, you go and select next decoration down here. And what we got here is a bow tie around the neck. And we're really just going to use this uh, because uh, it makes it easy to place the wings in the right place. Uh, so we go in here and delete the bow tie like this. And um, we import the wings and the wings I have made available as a download. Uh, like this. We, uh, I've made the wings available as a download and you should see the download link in the description of this video. Uh, and when you get it, it should look like this and you select the wings FBX and drag that into Spark AR. And now you get a collection of objects that has the wings up here. And um, we can try and add it to our scene right away put it into the drag here object. And as you see, there's something that looks not quite right. Okay. So we might want to uh, scale a little bit and you can use the uh, uh, tools up here for that. Um, you select this one and then you can scale. And I, I don't know about you, but I like them pretty big. So I'll scale them right up to here. And then we select the move tool, move them down a bit like this, maybe even bigger, not that big, like this perhaps, and the move tool. Yeah, that's how I like it. Okay, uh, now you may see there are some problems around the edges here. And I won't go into details about that. That's to do with the uh, head and bust occluder that we have in the scene. But we can, uh, we can solve it by setting some properties on the materials of the wings. If we go down here to the feather material, we can set the advanced render options and use depth test. And we can turn that off. And we do that with the wing material as well. Advanced options, render options, use depth test. And now our wings are in front of everything. So that's not right. But we can fix that because what we do is now we create a layer that is just uh, the user and not the background. And we do that first by going up to the camera and selecting texture extraction and texture segmentation. Those are two camera images of uh, the user and a mask that masks out the background. So we need a layer for this. So we create a rectangle like this. And the rectangle we set to fill width. Once again, fill width and fill height. And we create a new material for that. Uh, layer and we go into the material by double clicking and we set the shader type to flat and we select the camera texture here in texture and in the alpha option here we select the segmentation mask so now and you may want to see yourself now you have wings 
They do look a bit dark and gloomy, but that can be fixed as well. If we go into the feather material down here, we set the blend mode to alpha. There. Okay, there. It looks uh, better. And now you have some nice wings that follow you as you move. And that's about it. So if you like this tutorial, go check out my other tutorials and maybe subscribe. Throw me a like if you like this, uh, so that I, I, yeah, so that I know that you like it, so that I can do some more stuff for you. And um, yeah, that's about it. See you next time.